Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create motorized fire damper rivet family. In this video, I will create two part of family, damper blade and main family, and then load and combine into main family. Before go to rivet, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to rivet. To create damper blade family. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert dimension and add parameter for W. Select instance and click OK. Insert another dimension and add parameter for H. Select instance and click OK. Go to create and select the reference line. Create a reference line and lock to reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the existing reference line and create a similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the line and mirror to opposite side. Insert dimension and lock it. Insert angle dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Offset 1 mm and create a line. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 250 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for L. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to visibility graphic override. Shortcut is VG. Off dimension and reference line. Click apply and OK. Save the family. To create main family. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to family category and parameter. Select duct accessories for family category and select breaks into for part type. Set and select the class number. And click OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 100 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for length. Select instance and click OK. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. 
offset 250 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for width. Select instance and click OK. Insert another dimension and add parameter for height. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 12 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for H1. Select instance and click OK. Go to create. Select the sweep. Sketch path. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Edit profile in front view. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Insert and load this created family into main family. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the family. Assign H parameter to blade height. Select instance and click OK. Assign L parameter to blade length. Select instance and click OK. Assign W parameter to blade width. Select instance and click OK. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 100 mm and create similar. Insert dimension. Select dimension and assign parameter to BH. Go to family type. Add formula for BL parameter. And click apply. Add formula for BW parameter. Click apply and OK. Select family and array. Array the family to next reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to front view. Select the array and add parameter for number of blade. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for number of blade parameter. And click apply. Add formula for BH parameter. Click apply and OK. Check in 3D view. Go to front view. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the fillet arc. Set radius 10 mm and fillet the corner and lock it. Finish the extrusion. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for inner diameter. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for D parameter. Click apply and OK. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to front view. Go to create. 
Select the extrusion. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Finish the extrusion. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 40 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to reference level. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 125 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to annotation and select the symbolic lines. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert diameter dimension and assign to BW parameter. Go to annotation and select the symbolic lines. Draw a line and lock to reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 125 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Go to annotation and select the symbolic lines. Draw a circle. Select the circle and check circle mark visible. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Insert diameter dimension and assign to BW parameter. Go to annotation and select the symbolic lines. Draw a line and lock to reference plane. Check in 3D view. Select the array group and go to edit. Edit the visibility or graphics override. Off all view specific display. Click OK and finish the editing. Go to family type. Add formula for H1 parameter. And click apply. Check and play the parameter. Click apply and OK. Go to create. Select duct connector and place on flange face. Select the connector and link to the each other. Select duct connector and associate the height parameter. Select duct connector and associate the width parameter. Set K coefficient for loss method and global for system classification. Let test the family in the project. Insert and load this family into project. Insert the section. Right click on section and go to view. Select the family and check in 3D view.
Okay, motorized fire damper family creation is completed. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.